Well, hi everybody. Welcome again to the Doghouse on GTD6. It's so nice to see you again here. Uh, as you know by now, this is your pet adoption show, your favorite pet adoption show um, hosted by the city of Glendale. And um, we have some great people here to help introduce you to the pets you're about to see. There'll be three cats, three dogs, and sometimes a miscellaneous, sometimes a... Well, a rabbit. A rabbit. That's very good. A rabbit. <laughs> I mean, sometimes. sometimes. Every once yeah. in a while, we've, we try to throw a, a curveball. We've had hamsters. Yeah, snake. well, you never know. No, you Somebody's never know. But not wanna. today. And there are some miscellaneous here that we couldn't bring up. But uh, Oh, you can tell us about that. Well, we'll talk about that later. Let's introduce you in a moment. To my right is... Do I'm Rob Sharkey. To my right is Dottie Sharkey. To my left is... Kevin McManus, and Kevin is adoption supervisor for the Pasadena Humane Society, which is from where we emanate. Uh, and um, what are those miscellaneous that you were talking about that we seldom see? Like, well, tell, tell us some of the exotic anim animals you have here now. Well, uh, just the other day we had a, an iguana come in. Um, the iguana uh, is a large, a large adult iguana, seems very friendly, um, available for adoption now. So wow. if that's something that you have experience with, um, we are looking for an experienced home for, for our lizard friend. Very gentle pets. I've had one. Yeah, as long as they're handled yeah, yeah. You know, well and early. How big is the iguana? He's several feet long. Um, definitely an adult. Um, with the tail, yeah. um, wow, probably about three big. and a half, four feet. Yeah. So. That'll be fun. He's a good to size, come, good come size and, lizard. Come and yeah. see. Just come and Absolutely. see the iguana. Um, okay, well, with that in mind, I think we've given you enough incentive. Let's show you what happened to the pets on our last show. got one or two left from the last show. Uh, in, fa in fact, you're going to see one again today. We're going to recycle a pet from the last show. We love the pets so much. But first, we have our producer, Zara, who is bringing us today's... Rabbits. Ra <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> uh, we tend to have lots of rabbits here. I can't imagine why. Anyway, this happens to be sunny. And Sonny, I'll give you Sonny's number, A316968, who is a neutered four-year-old male, an English spot rabbit. What is an English spot rabbit? That is a very good question, Rob, and I'm glad you asked because I just had to ask Zara, our producer, before the show. Uh -huh. um, apparently, um, it is just a coloration pattern. Um, it's, it's a shy bunny. But, <laughs> but a large bunny, yeah. uh, definitely a large bunny. I can spot that. Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> but ding. Uh, well, spot, as you can tell, hopefully from the close up, is this beautiful, like uh, what we call dappling around his face. Um, it's kind of that gray and black um, kind of combination, and um, I think it's it's beautiful. Beautiful. Accounting for the spots, would this be a, like a purebred breed, more or less? Not, um, you know, I, no, I would no, imagine no papers, so. But, yeah, yeah. But there are several different breeds of rabbits that we see. They're all obviously domesticated, um, but yeah, so, I think it's a good bet that he is a, a purebred rabbit. Wow. He's beautiful. So a a well, rabbit all, expert would know what a what an English spot rabbit is. I, I would imagine so. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we also like if you adopt. We always say the warning about their little chewers. Um, oh, wires yeah, we should and stuff. That. At the Denver airport, just recently, I heard a news story that their parking structure is quite warm, and they have a problem with rabbits chewing the cars that are oh. parked there <laughs> for a long time. So, uh, oh, I know. Are they funny? Sure. Well, to be fair, the cars are still there. Their wiring is a the little afraid. The wiring, frayed. yeah. Everyone's uh, getting tickets for not having their yeah, parking Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, but the so. point about that is you don't need to keep them in a cage. You can let them out, but keep just an eye watch on them. Just do yeah. chew so. things. What would Sonny cost? Um, Sonny's adoption fee is thirty dollars. Um, that would, um, I believe, he would only need a microchip actually implanted before he could go home. So oh, if wow. you're uh, head over heels with Spot here, you can take him home today. Okay, okay. Sonny. What's his number again? 
Excuse me, Sonny. Sorry. Sorry, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are actually, uh, he is a spot. Sonny is an English spot rabbit, uh, neutered four-year-old male, very, very friendly and outgoing. He'd love to be your forever pet in your forever home. And Sonny's number, if you would like to take him home today, is A3169. Nine, eight. Okay, on to the cats. And this is the cat I warned you about. I warned you about. Well, first, let me, let me, let's bring on Judy, who we Judy. haven't seen in a while, our volunteer Judy. Nice to see you back. Thank it's you. Probably great Thank to see you back. What's that hat you have on? What's that from? I, I don't know. I didn't. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> it's got a horse on it. I, I it just was, wondered if that was had to Judy do. on the spot. You know. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, this cat is so awesome. That well, it's back again on the this show. This is Bandita, and you may have recognized Bandita from the last show. And I'll tell you, first of all, Bandita's number is A3189008900, a spayed 12 year old oh my female. Goodness. And we can tell you more about her, but Kevin, why is Bandita being brought back from the last show? She's awesome. She's, She's awesome. awesome. Um, <laughs> She's Bandita awesome. is one of the uh, cats who um, currently resides in our communal cattery, so she interacts with other cats so and does friendly. so well. Um, she's so uh, well adjusted to living in a multi cat situation. That's a great plus. Um, and yeah, she would be just a great cat if you already have one or two at home and you're looking for, um, you know, maybe a companion for them. Um, she would definitely fit the bill as far as uh, socialization. And she's so nice to talk to. Oh, yes. Yes. And yes. Uh, by the way, I keep mentioning my nephew's cat that they adopted at 10 years old, and she's still in her late 20s. And <laughs> they keep saying goodbye to her. They'll come home at Christmas and say goodbye and go back at Easter, and they're sorry again. <laughs> so. Cats anyway, so, so 12, age. she's got a long life ahead oh, of her. Because yeah. she's in good shape. She really she's is. in really good shape. But more important, Ooh. 12 qualifies her for the Senior for Seniors program. That's right. Now, Kevin, would you really? tell, tell people what that means, please? Um, Bandita, because she is what we consider a senior pet, so that would be any pet over the age of five, uh, her adoption fee for a senior person um, over the age of 60 would only be 20 bucks, and that just covers the cost of the uh, microchip implantation. Um, Bandita also, speaking of discounts, um, is one of our long-term resident cats, and that's a program that we've decided to um, run all year long. Any cat that has been at the shelter for over a month, the adoption fee, the regular adoption fee, so that is if you are not quite 60, um, is only $35, so basically um, half price for any cat who's been here for over a month. And Bandita has been here for a little while, so she definitely qualifies for She's that. a wonderful cat. Yeah. Do, do you check IDs carefully? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We have everyone swipe their driver's license, give a DNA sample. No, no. Um, and anyway, so um, the, the idea of the Senior for Seniors program is if, for, if you're living on uh, Social Security or a fixed income and you're thinking, wow, I can't afford the big $120 adoption fee. You don't need to. Just adopt an older cat, you know, over the age of five. Isn't this a wonderful this companion? This cat is really active. Right. And would be Half such she doesn't act 12. She thinks she's no. oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, few cats do over the age of five, you know. Beautiful uh, eyes, too. So for, for the mere cost of 20 bucks, you, you could have someone think you're the most wonderful creature in the world and agree with everything you say and so forth and be your, well, your forever buddies. So that's what the um, Senior for Seniors program is for. So Bandita would only cost you $20 if you're over the age of 60. Right. So again, her number, a, I should say again and again, her number is A31-8900 Bandita. And we're going to bring her back next week. If you that's <laughs> right. That's right. And so keep bringing her back. That's Bandita. Well, our next cat here is Andrea bringing out Tiffany. Tiffany. Andrea, thank you for, for being a wonderful volunteer here and helping us. Oh, and Tiffany's so soft. Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany is unique in, in a couple ways. First, she is A321662. She's a spayed two-year-old female, gray tabby. And here's her first way in that she's unique. She's a Maine Coon. A Maine Coon is a is a uh, a breed, a very specific breed. Kevin, again, I always hate to put you on the spot. Is this a c 
close to being a purebred Maine Coon? Probably not. Um, she definitely has a lot of Maine Coon characteristics, but she doesn't have that classic. The face, um, though? The face of no. Maine Coon. Well, it, we never know. Um, and of course, Tiffany um, was turned in by an owner, um, so we, you know, they, um, the owner didn't provide us with any, you know, like pedigree paperwork yeah. or anything uh -huh. like that. But um, she, she could definitely fit the bill. She's big enough. Um, one of the yeah. characteristics of Maine Coons is they tend to be much larger cats, and she's Let's see her she's tail. a good healthy her weight. Right. She's awful wiggly. <laughs> oh, she's kind of wiggly. Yes. Okay, Maine Coons have, have, have a characteristically big fluffy tail. This cat has she, a big fluffy tail. I think she was Maine. in a home where she got her way. <laughs> And uh, no. they're big, they tend to be big well, furry cats. And well deserved. <laughs> well deserved indeed. Uh, but also very friendly. Yeah, very she's friendly. A cutie. Declawed front feet. She shouldn't go outside. <laughs> um, an owner turn in, and the adoption fee would be adoption fee seventy dollars. <laughs> Woo! Um, I almost and that would include her. Uh, well, she is already spayed. We would mic a chip her. Oh. She's used to getting her own oh, way. A big wiggle worm. She'd yeah. be a great pet. So. Really personable cat. Yeah. So Tiffany, um, that's probably her real name because that's a name she came in with and has had for some years. So Tiffany is A321662. <laughs> okay, before we go any further, and we, we've got a cat waiting in the wings, we just want to give you a few tips about uh, finding a pet-friendly apartment. And it's important because you don't want to adopt the pet and find out your landlord doesn't allow pets and then you got to bring the pet back and then it's kind of stress, stressful on the pet. We want to do it all at once. So um, if you're looking for a pet friendly apartment, here's a couple of tips to keep in mind. One, contact the property management company directly to see what kind of animals are allowed. That's either if you're, you know, if you're, if you haven't found an apartment, you're looking for an apartment and you want one that's going to uh, accommodate pets, you want to do that in the beginning. Or if you want to come here, you want to ask your apartment manager first. Um, ask if there are any breed restrictions, breed restrictions. Utilize apartment, um, this is the last one, apartment search websites such as forrent.com, that's easy enough to remember. Here's an easier one, peoplewithpets.com or apartmentlist.com. Those websites can help you find uh, pet friendly apartments in your area. So speaking of a friendly pet, here we have our, our wonderful volunteer Judy with a very friendly, uh, very outgoing and affectionate Bradley. Oh, Bradley's and, calm. <laughs> and Bradley is first, uh, his number, uh, A321454. He, he is a neutered, ready to go home, eight year old male, gray tabby, loves to roll around on your carpet or prob probably in the dirt. Cats <laughs> like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, let's see, what else could we tell you about Bradley? Mm -hmm. um, very. Well, what very I can tell you tabby. about rolling around in the dirt, the best part is that I'm sure most people know this, but for those who don't, they clean themselves. <laughs> you don't have to give them a bath. We have white cats. We've never, ever. They roll around in the dirt and then mm. clean themselves right up. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Kevin, oh, go no, ahead. No, I was just going to say Bradley being eight it does qualify him for the Senior for Senior program, which we've already oh, talked about. Exactly. Um, his regular adoption fee is $70. Um, you might notice that he's got a little um, nick in his ear. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, we, you know, um, have you know, check that out to the best of our ability. He seems um, healthy and it doesn't seem to bother him. I think it's, you know, maybe an old scar or something like yeah. that. So, war, um, war wound. A yeah. war wound. So, you know, he's uh, been around the block, but I think now he needs a nice, um, quiet indoor home to kind of relax and chill out. Yeah. Well, he he's is relaxed. very calm. Very yeah, calm. he is relaxed. He's a yeah, good very boy. Very friendly. He's a good yeah. boy. He's love a home. So, uh, okay, Bradley would cost you only $20 if you're over the age of 60, otherwise $70. Um, so uh, Bradley's number is A321454, a neutered eight-year-old male. He's ready to go home immediately. Okay, here comes our first dog, if you can stand, too cute. <laughs> too cute, too cute. Uh, this is Zoe, and Zoe's number is A321312. Spade, eight month old female. How cute. Yes. Gray and white pit bull mix. 
very sweet, very friendly, as we can tell. Oh. Demonstrate. <laughs> a lapdog. And she knows her sit command. We already saw that. Eight but months old, she's a lapdog. Two years old, she may not be a lapdog. And the, oh, how are, look at how you, you heard me hear all, say all those nice things about you, didn't you? Huh? Uh -huh. She wanted to show Is off that her it? sit command. So, uh, okay, well, let's see. We'll let you see. Oh, there you go. <laughs> she sits. And so, Kevin, want to tell us a little bit about her, her well, adoption um, fee? Well, yeah, she, uh, adoption fee for Zoe is $125. Um, that includes, obviously, her spay, microchip, rabies vaccine, other vaccines. Come here. Um, the training that she's already uh, exhibiting here, that's free. Um, Zoe, we think, is a, a pit bull mix. Um, at eight months, she's almost full grown, and she, you can oh, tell really? she's pretty tiny. Oh, um, that is great. She's, uh, I would say, maybe 25 pounds, uh -huh. so probably top out at 35, maybe. So she's definitely a mix of something, um, something cute. This is a great something dog, because I, I love the face. And with the little... <laughs> she's a oh, kisser. Oh, she loves your face. <laughs> she is so cute. Well, that's as big as she's going to yeah. get. Huh? Yeah, so I'm sure she's very popular. Yeah, she um, loves going out for her walks to the park with her volunteers. And uh, she likes as you can me. tell, they, they treat her well and they have taught her well. And so Such a beautiful is, color. What, what is that called? Uh, gray. Just gray? <laughs> no, um, technically uh, they're blue. Uh, they're, oh, blue. Mm -hmm. Blue. Oh, okay. All right, that would be a nice name for her. So, <laughs> Ooh, all right, well, boots. let me... Let's give you Zoe's number again. She needs to, or what? Zoe. Oh, it's Zoe. Zoe. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Zoe, that's even cuter. So, uh, her little number is A321312. Well, we are coming up to a, a very uh, important day here at the Humane Society and actually worldwide. Uh, February 26th is known as World Spay Day. Um, in an attempt to help stop the tragedy of pet overpopulation, uh, PHS is, has always, um, and will continue to do so, provide low-cost spay-neuter services for the city of Glendale. Um, some common questions and answers are available on our website, which is pasadenahumane.org. If you click on services on the upper tab on the uh, web page, and select low cost spay neuter. You can have all of m many of your questions and answers. Um, many of your questions answered, I guess, is the uh, the correct phrase there. Um, pit bull and pit bull mixes, as well as Chihuahua and Chihuahua mixes, are sterilized at no cost. Appointments are necessary, and if you'd like an appointment, you should contact our SNP coordinator at 626 792 7151 extension 138 to schedule an appointment. That is a message line, but please leave your uh, name, number, uh, what kind of animal you would like to have spayed or neutered, um, and make an appointment this week and uh, help us celebrate World Spay Day, which is, again, February 26th. Thank you so much. Hey, Tommy, get in here. Look Hello, Tommy. Cute. Tommy's Hi. number is A321005, neutered eight-year-old male. Tommy, you're eight years old. So a eight little black and white. Go ahead, tell me. Lhasa Apso. <laughs> He's very well behaved. That's a great endorsement. He loves to cuddle on your lap. <laughs> as, as Kevin. He's, Oh, he's got a little, um, like... A, a little overbite. Yeah. Yeah. Underbite. The underbite. 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 underbite yeah. <laughs> that is yeah, yeah, yeah. so cute. That's pretty characteristic yeah. of, of this of breed. That. Yeah. Um, so he's probably the yeah. real thing when it comes to the real. Uh, we would imagine so. Oh, yeah. Tommy is the real name, yeah, owner so. turn-in. He's an owner turn-in, so maybe he has a little sad story. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But it's a happy story to be here. <laughs> he gets well taken care. You can see... Oh, good boy. You can see the love. Oh. And he's, he's either a senior for senior, if you're over That's the age correct. of 60, or... Or if you are not quite to 60, um, his adoption fee is 125. And so that, of course, includes all the vaccinations yeah. that we mentioned previously, rabies shot now, yeah. which we cover. Um, and uh, <laughs> oh, good boy. He yeah. looks like a little senior. He'd be great with a senior. He's Absolutely. A yeah. But um, what so. you know, he's not showing really is that he is still pretty active. Yeah. So um, although I think he would be great in 
um, a senior home, you would also be mm-hmm. really good, like, you know, going for mm-hmm. walks and, you know, doing a little bit of moderate exercise. He can't, you know, probably run like he used to, but um, with a breed this size, you don't need to exercise them as much. So, huh. Also, if he got groomed, can you imagine how he would shine? <laughs> he is, a, he's actually a beautiful dog. Yeah. <laughs> he is a beautiful dog. Yeah, yeah so and for seniors. He's very well behaved. Yeah. Is he? Uh, he'd, he'd be a wonderful addition to somebody, someone. I love that little underbite. It's just too cute. How can you not look at that face and not smile? <laughs> I think you mentioned this already, Doug, but going out with our mobile unit gives the dogs an opportunity, gives us an opportunity to see how they interact with other dogs and with, with people that they meet. And he's, he's just done so well. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, that's all right. Um, done really well with other dogs. So he'd probably be good in a multi-dog household. Oh, that's great. That's a little plea. Um, <laughs> a plea for a forever home. Yeah, forever home. He said oh. he'll promise to live happily ever after. <laughs> So let me give you Tommy's number again. It's A321005. Okay, another little cutie. Look at this. This is Wiley. Aww. What a big name for such a little dog. A cutie. Uh, Wiley's number is A320713, neutered. 10 years old, Kevin. 10 years old. I know. 10 years old. Young in yeah, this case. he's so scared. He's a little shy at first. Yeah. He's very shy. Oh, and hurts. white and brown. Oh, my goodness. Look. Oh, he's all Don't you shaking. just want to take him home? Yeah. <laughs> Did just take him home and. I just want to get him a sweater. I know. <laughs> is that that he's cold or scared? I think he's a little bit nervous. Yeah. Oh, just nervous. I mean, he is a chihuahua. Yeah. And chihuahuas yeah, are known for that. being a little, little anxious. Yeah. And this little guy was a stray. So no wonder he's a little bit unsettled. So he was on the street for a while. Yeah. So he could use a loving home. He's um, definitely a, a senior for senior, so he'd be free, free except for the $20 yes. microchip. And um, his adoption fee, regular adoption fee, is 125 He's just a sweetheart. He loves laps. <laughs> so if you've got a lap <laughs> that you An would like. An lap. If you have a lap available, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so. And you'd like to use that lap to comfort a dog that was on the street, is 10 years old and scared and really wants a home. I know. Have we pushed so. all the buttons? So, <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, the um, one thing, too, that we should mention about Wiley is, um, you know, we do behavior assessments on all of the pets before we make them available for adoption. And he did, despite his being a little anxious, score as high as he possibly could. Oh, wow. Um, so he is, um, like, the top of the line behaviorally. Is that like um, a which, blue ribbon dog? Okay. Um, similar. Similar? Sim- okay. Yeah, blue ribbon is actually a slightly different program, but he, um, for those familiar with our behavior assessment, he is what we call a green dot. So a that means he dog. scored the highest he could, and we, um, all of our volunteers aged 15 to 85 can work with a dog like Wiley and spend time with him and get oh, him, that's great. Know, in this case, a little bit more comfortable with, with people and mm-hmm. handling, so... It's very, uh, very Yeah, good that's boy. a wonderful thing you do. You, you'll go around here and you'll see volunteers or staff yeah, in the cages in the sitting smocks. down, yeah. holding the dogs. Sometimes they'll read to them. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. awfully nice. It, yeah. This is a wonderful place. Wonderful and the place, dogs, so. they actually, they really, they recognize and they respond to the, the, our volunteers' smocks. It's, it's really cute really? to see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, they get really good care here. So. We hope you'll come down and see us. Um, you can check us hourly during business hours. Uh, at, we're at PasadenaHumane.org or um, 626-792-7151. Pasadena Humane. But the best way is to, to come down and see us. And we are at 361 South Raymond Avenue in Pasadena. From Glendale, you take the 134. Uh, get off at the Del Mar exit, or is the 210? Did I say that wrong? <laughs> well, it's the same. <laughs> it's same a, exit. It's the same thing from Glendale. Um, get off at the Del Mar exit, a left on Del Mar, right onto Raymond, and there we are. We'd love to see you uh, when I come down on the weekends and see the kids here. They're all smiling, and uh, it, it's a beautiful, beautiful shelter. So we hope to see you here, and and that's it. Um, do you have, have a, any little? Yeah, I just, oh, well, we sorry. do want oh. to remem- uh, mention our social media outlets. So oh, if yeah. you're on Facebook, you can like us on Facebook. You can follow us uh, at, on Twitter and Foursquare, um, Pinterest, yes, Google+, Google Plus, wow. you name it. Um, Anything else, anything else you can imagine, um, our producer Zara is on it, and we are uh, always updating um, 
with as many as much great information as we possibly can. And did we so mention that the website is? Oh yeah, www.pasadena.org. Okay. Okay, good. You you may want to come down and kind of look at the huge expansion program underway that's going to add. I just may have had to make a note of this: thirty-eight thousand square, thirty-five thousand square feet to uh, to the Pasadena Humane Society with uh, all kinds of facilities for training and grooming and teaching and housing uh, homeless pets. Well, most so. importantly is uh, spaying and neutering. Spay and um, neutering. We are going to be hopefully, um, well, very soon operating our spay and neuter, our low cost spay and neuter clinic seven days a week. Um, currently wow. we're only at two, uh, two days a week that is. Um, but once uh, the facility's open, the goal is to do spay and neuters every single day. So that will hopefully dramatically um, help with the pet overpopulation problem. Excellent. Okay. okay, let me give uh, Wiley's number again oh, just in yeah. case somebody just tuned in and, and spotted this cute little guy. Hold him up. Um, this is A320713. Good boy, Wiley. That's Wiley. Well, with that, we would like to thank all the people who helped us on the show. Is that a phone somewhere? Sorry. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> a phone? Phone telling us to wrap up the show, which we are. Um, thank you so much to our volunteers, Georgian um, and Judy and Andrea, our Caroline producer, and our, and our producer uh, Zara, and our city staff from the city of Glendale. Uh, let's see, we have Jessica and Kevin. No, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw you look at Derek. <laughs> And uh, Dot, thank you very much for You're helping welcome. us out on the show You're today. Welcome. And Kevin, our adoption supervisor from the Pasadena Humane Society, thank you. My pleasure. And I'm Rob Sharkey. And most of all, I want to thank all of you for watching The Dog House on GTV6 and helping us help the animals. See you next time.